joining us with his take on yesterday's win. WWLTV.com sports writer and host of Saints Happy Hour podcast, Ralph Mulbro. Good morning, Ralph. Good morning. Can we just be indebted to Taysom Hill mostly? <laughs> he had one of the crazy fun games in Saints history, right? He had 112 yards rushing, three rushing touchdowns. He threw for another touchdown. Yep. He recovered a fumble. <laughs> I think he was selling programs and beer during the game. Uh, he had the block that on Alvin Kamara's run that salted the game away. Yep. He was so good yesterday, Leslie. I almost wish his four-year, $140 million contract he signed in 2021 was real. That fourth quarter touchdown, it felt like $140 million bucks. I'm it does have lie. incentives for being quarterback, so throwing that touchdown pass, <laughs> I wonder if that gets him any more cash. <laughs> Gives him a little extra. Um, the funnest thing about the 60-yard the touchdown, Leslie, was everyone in the stadium, everyone on earth knew the Saints are giving the ball to Taysom Hill. Pete Carmichael Jr., the Saints offensive coordinator, didn't blink. He didn't get cute. He was like, here it comes, Seattle. See if he can stop it. And it felt like a bolt of lightning to kind of save the Saints season, yeah. to me at least. And I, if you haven't, you can go to the Saints website and listen to all the post-game um, interviews. And, I mean, he just says all the right things. It's amazing. He, he was like, I, I got to give credit to the guys up front blocking. Uh, you know, it's, it's so much fun to be a part of this. You know, they asked, did you know your number was going to be called? He was like, well, you know, you, you hope it will. And anything I can do to help the team, and literally anything he can do, he did yesterday. Yeah, he was like, it's pretty fun when you're winning games. And and uh, and, and I really like his sound, but I, I just work here. Yeah. But the thing with the Saints, <laughs> yesterday, Leslie, they lost all three of the receivers. Remember yep. mm -hmm. back in the summer when we were like, oh, the Saints, they're going to have all these good receivers. Yeah. They're, they're all injured. Yeah. Um. So yesterday, it really was Taysom and Kamara, and that was it. And they, and they brought it home for the Saints. And let's not fool ourselves. If the Saints had been had lost and been one and four, which they were really close to doing because they still did all Saints things where they step on rake, rakes and eat glue and lick electrical sockets. Uh, if they don't lost and been one and four, the season would have felt over today. But instead, they're two and three, and we can talk ourselves into them fixing their problems and yeah. being good. Yeah, and uh, you mentioned Alvin Kamara, 103 yards rushing, 91 yards receiving. Fantastic uh, to have him back. Let's switch gears, talk about the other side of the ball here momentarily. Uh, what was the deal with the Saints defense? They gave him a lot of ex big plays. They did. I think Seattle just had another 40-yard play as this interview was going on. Yeah. Um, the Saints defense, it was unique in its awfulness yesterday. I'll, I'll give them that. It's not every day you see a defense be stop a team uh, eight out of nine times on third down. Yeah. They sacked Geno Smith three times, mm -hmm. and they still gave up nearly 400 yards. Um, Seattle had eight plays of 15 of at least 15 yards. They Seattle just kept hitting these big plays over and over again as people are watching the video. Uh, I was told Russell Wilson wasn't on Seattle anymore, but Geno Smith <laughs> was so good. I wasn't sure yesterday. Yeah. Um, the defense, they have a lot to fix, a lot. Thanks for watching the Saints Happy Hour. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, then find us wherever you get your podcast. And finally, go to saintshappyhour.com and become a patron of the best Saints podcast on earth.